Hello everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days Art. We are on day 19. Yay! The end is in sight. For people that are unaware, I'm doing a 28 day challenge, which is just for myself to explore colours, to explore styles, to just become one with my creativity again. And yeah, so the challenge is for myself for self growth, inner peace and connection. For the people that were asking, the meal was lovely with Neil. We had it very early in the afternoon, so it meant we got plenty of time to relax and create. Now, in my mind, I thought, well, I'll come back, paint this little uh, puffin bird. I'll be able to maybe do some other art. Well, I did do some other art, but it was a bit challenging because we had a power cut because of the storms down this way. And I did my first ever art journal page, which I will show you in March, which I love doing the process. It took me longer than I thought. And I think that's because I was trying to break the rules of there being no rules. <laughs> there is no right or wrong thing to do in an art journal. It's just about pleasing self. Anyway, and then I thought I'll start this one. Now, this one was requested by little Lulu. And she asked me to have a go paint a puff, puffing bird because they're unusual. Well, this little bad boy, although he ends up being cute and uh, he has a lovely expression, it was a lot harder for me to paint. So thank you, little Lulu, for this challenge. It took me on a journey. Thank you to everybody who has been supporting, especially Rebecca Hyatt as well as little Lulu. And there's been a few other people that have been watching every video. You are keeping me going. Uh, and it makes me realize that there is some people out there and it's not just going out into the void. So the reason it was challenging, I think I've said all the way along, working on these mini canvases has been challenging for me because I normally work on bigger canvases, big brushes, and every stroke matters. But also when you're using these very fine brushes, the canvas captures the paint, which it's meant to do, but it's not necessarily always straight or um, because of the little bumps of the canvas where it grabs that paint. Anyway, I just went and digress then. This particular bird, it took me about two and a half hours because I just got lost in the process and I've cut chunks of this out uh, because you don't want to see it for two and a half hours, see me change my mind. So the reason it took me two and a half hours was firstly um, the composition. I did his face to start with. I enjoyed his face um, to start with. But then when I come back over after I do my first layer and start to add a little bit, it just wasn't right. Even though I'd um, done an outline of where I wanted him to be in pencil very lightly just to help me with composition on the canvas to try and allegedly speed up the process for you and me um it didn't quite work out because i don't like to stick within the lines or rules so what is a paint even though i've done myself a guide i'll sometimes go out of it and then before you know it his head and his beak will be bigger than it should be so you see me play around with different tones for the wings until I'm happy. Uh, there is a reference photo to the side of me. And uh, sometimes when I'm using reference photos, they're more of a hindrance than a help because I'm thinking, oh, should I make it exactly like that? I'm like, no, it's just a reference photo, Sharon. Anyway, I go over him twice with acrylics and I end up going to bed because it was 1 a.m. And uh, it is now... 440 and this video has got to get edited and out to you by 7 so 7 30 so cutting it to the wire again uh, but when i rested him i'd deconstructed his face again in his beak and tried to get my proportions I've got a very odd shape head as well and that that threw me a little bit because i kept drawing what i think it should be rather than what it probably actually is uh do i think it's anatomically correct no but then you'd just take a photo of it, well, wouldn't you? It's about trying to capture an expression or a personality or get the main features in there. The other thing that I didn't think about is I, I put it against a light grey background because I wanted it to look um, like it's just a cold grey day. Uh, excuse that popping, that's Neil. He's clearing out a box and for some reason he's deciding to make lots of noises while I'm editing. I think he's clearing out books and throwing them on the floor as we speak. Anyway, I have digressed a little bit there. Um, the background. So when I was doing the background, I wanted it to look like a grey day and he's perched on a rock. But because his body is white, I started to lose his head and his um, body when I first started drawing him but you know when you're painting white you always want to start with darker layers and come up to the light and go over it multiple layers and then that'll help with depth and 
and texture. So I played around with the grey until I got a tone that I was happy with. You'll see me come and paint his beak and then I strip his face away and I strip his beak away. You'll see me play around with the wings a lot until I'm happy. It's still not a true representation of it, but like I said, you can look at a photo if you want to see that. Uh, but I think I've left enough in for you to see how I do the dance with my art and my canvas and keep going until I'm happy. And hopefully that'll give you encouragement to do that. Uh, maybe in the future when I become more proficient in painting, I can just do it uh, straight away. But I was asked a question recently by Rebecca, which is what do I really enjoy painting? And it was a really interesting question to reflect on because for me, I just love learning with art. So for me, I get the most joy when I'm growing or I'm learning a new skill and taking it into another. So it means that I'm very versatile in what I can do, but maybe not a matter expert in what I can do. But I love it when I create something that's maybe been challenging. I've worked worked hard on uh, trying to get the end result. And then because I'm so in the process, when I stand back, I think, wow, that's actually not too bad, is it? Or I'm really proud of that. And uh, that's what really excites me. So thank you for asking that question. If anybody else has got any questions, feel free to ask. It gives me something to talk about while you're watching me speed paint my little puffin bird. But I hope little Lulu that you can connect with this as a puffin bird. I hope that whoever's watching this is gaining some understandings that it's not always about getting it right first time. It's just about playing and having fun and, and changing it. Um, until you're happy and I stand by this piece I stand by the learns I stand by um, uh, the tranquility it gave uh, me creating it even though it didn't go as planned uh, it took me on a journey and and that's where I love two hours can go by in the blink of an eye it helped that Neil kept bringing me up in Malibu and Coke though when uh, I think it was a little uh, maybe um, tipsy by the end of the evening but I've only got uh, one more day before I'm back at work so that's I've got to try and really focus on getting ahead tomorrow so that when I go back to work, the house is all clean, I'm all um, ready to go and uh, see all my work friends. It's been a lovely two weeks vacation, uh, doing a little bit of life admin and, and resting, been spending some time with the fur babies and uh, cleansing out all the cupboards and everything like that. So it's been a real nice mixture and... Um, yeah, I hope that you've been enjoying your day. I hope that Sunday's going to be a kind day to you. Uh, I'm not going to reveal what I'm working on uh, uh, to, uh, for tomorrow, uh, but hopefully you will enjoy that. It's something that brought tranquility to my soul. And I hope you're looking forward to seeing my art journal and some of the new projects that I'll have coming your way shortly. I'm going to put a little bit of relaxing music on. You are going to hear me come in and speak later in this video because I recorded live when I came back the next day after going to bed at 1am to talk through how I just finished the embellishment and got the face um, how I liked it. Uh, and then I'll talk through a little more. But other than that, thank you so much. Relax and I will speak.
so this little man <laughs> really took me on a journey and I spent two hours with him and in the end I ended up sticking him on the wall so I could get better perspective and coming in with these fine acrylic marker pens really good for fine detail fine tip on the end and that helped me get control because I really really do struggle when trying to paint on a small canvas one because the brush when it hits the canvas drags the paint and not on the dip so you're not getting that fine uh, smooth edge which sometimes is the beauty of canvas but it also failed to help me get control of his beak and his eye area but you get this beautiful range of colours excuse my fingernails and I've applied um, a lot of them um, mainly the black the white the yellow the orange the red and yeah a little bit of gold a little bit of silver on the wing which you can't see I'll move it so you can see it anyway I walked away from it last night because it was 1am I've got to get this video out tonight. Thank you, little Lulu, for taking me on this challenge. I Hopefully I have stood up to the challenge. I think it looks like a puffing bird. Uh, I think I've got a cute expression on his eyes, but because white is opaque, it's time to come back in here and just do a few little highlights and finish him off so that I'm happier. It's not, I keep telling myself, that's the thing about what I'm doing. It's not meant to be the end result being the best picture anyway it's just about learning and and relaxing but i can't help it i want it to look good <laughs> anyway he is cute so i am now going to just do a little bit more embellishing very little highlights low lights and uh, mainly just to accentuate his beak i think his feet are bright enough i think you can tell he stood on a rock his wings they are meant to be a lighter brown i couldn't quite get his head shape right so it's not 100 as it should be but i still think it's worth showing with you all thank you little lulu for uh giving me a, this challenge all right let's get on with this
<clears throat> so I think we'll call this one done. I can't really do anything more with it other than um, totally rework it, which I don't have the time to do and it's not the point. I'm just uh, self-talking myself, self-talking myself, positively reinforcing to myself that this one is done. We can do no more for this particular day challenge, but I think we've got the essence of his face now anatomically might not be 100 correct <laughs> but you get a sense of motion i love him stood on the rock i do love the emotion in his eye and looking all pitiful um yeah i'd love to know what you think anyway little lulu i hope that you're okay with this thank you for the challenge anybody else got anything you want me to add to my challenge although i'm getting very short on days uh, let me know and I can either add it or I can do it after. Anyway, let me show you the wall as it stands at the moment. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Maybe share, get other people on board with this challenge because I'm not having a lot of support behind this, but that's not the whole reason for it. But recommendations, requests, let me know. I've got lots of uh, work coming up in March. A lot of resin and a lot of mixed media but my brushwork will always be part of who i am and i've started my first art journaling so i can't wait to show you that in march as well uh, that's all to help give me inspirations on colors and help me think differently but little lulu thank you i think he sits beautifully up there just above uh, or just underneath that other bird i think he's looking down at him and i think the butterfly is also having a little look kangaroo's a little bit scared he's running off <laughs> Anyway, on that bombshell, see you on the next one. Bye bye.